and bail has been posted. Really? Right on. Oh, on your side for so nice. Thank you. I really appreciate this. Well, clearly somebody has to look after you. Do you want to cuff your brother, please? You might want to reconsider. Ethan's safer in lockup right now than he is out on the street. speak volumes about law enforcement in Port Charles if the only way you can keep him safe from Sonny Corinthos is by keeping him locked up. Unfortunately, that's the reality of the situation. Christina was beaten brutally, and she ID'd Ethan as the attacker. Which is completely absurd. I'm not saying it isn't, but a room full of people at the Haunted Star saw you arguing with her earlier that night. They also saw you grab her arm, hard enough to leave a pretty nasty bruise. Okay, that's a completely separate issue, and it doesn't prove anything. You're right, it doesn't. But I have to be honest, if I saw my child beaten as badly as Christina was, I don't think I'd have a very rational response. I'd want to see the guy pay, maybe even want him dead. And Sonny has the capacity and the resources to make that happen. And I'm offering you police protection, Ethan. Thanks, but I'll pass. And if my own brother doesn't even believe me, I'm no safer here. This is Detective Spencer. Um, I need you to put a rush on the test results for the DNA taken from under the fingernails of Christina Davis, an assault victim from last night. Right. Yeah, anything you can do to speed up the process would be really helpful. Okay. Uh, you can reach me on my cell. Thanks. You got a minute? Not really. Well, I thought you would like to know Elizabeth's paternity tests are coming back today, probably within the hour. I'm going to pick her up from Shady Brook and then meet with Epiphany. You should be there, too. Actually, I have a pretty busy day. I don't think I'm going to be able to make it, but you can just call me and let me know. I call you and let you know if you're the father? Call me and let me know that you're the father. Mr. and Mrs. Bauer, I'm Lucky Spencer. Thanks for coming down. Thank you for... My husband and I are both attorneys, Detective Spencer, just so you're aware. Well, I'll take that into consideration. Please, have a seat. Well? Let's cut to the chase. Hmm? You drag respectable people like my son, and now us, into a situation like this to give it a higher profile, make it look like you're earning your paycheck. The situation, sir, is that a 17-year-old girl, your son's girlfriend, Christina Davis, was beaten into unconsciousness last night in her own home. I think girlfriend is an overstatement. Okay, look, you've, you've made it clear that you're not happy about being here, and I'm sorry for the inconvenience, but I need to ask your son a few questions just to establish a timeline. I'd like to proceed. Unless you'd prefer that we call in a criminal attorney. Oh, oh no, that, that won't be necessary. We intend to fully cooperate, of course. Okay. Then uh, let's get started. Christina was supposed to go to a party with you last night, correct? Yes, but she never showed up. All right, let's start from the beginning. Just uh, tell me everything that happened. Feeling? Nervous. Yeah, me too. Listen, however, however this turns out, I hope that we can agree that the children are the priority here. You know, that we can get along, respect each other. Without the fear of it being mistaken for something else, of course. I'm, I'm sorry for how hard this has been on you. I know I've been unfair. No. And you have been nothing but supportive. No, it's, it's, it's okay, really. It's fine. We both made a lot of big mistakes. The important thing is that we learn from those mistakes and not make them again.
Christina that left you a message? Uh, yeah, she said she had some family she to do with, and that's why she couldn't make it to the party. Did you think at any point that she might be lying? Um, that's a leading question. Lucky, uh, sorry to interrupt, but we need to go over a few things for the Corinthos case. Mm, kind of in the middle of it here. Well, look, it's going to have to wait. I got a call from Mayor Floyd, who I take it you know very well. Garrett's an old friend. Shock. The mayor feels the Bowers have demonstrated good faith by coming in. We're less than halfway through the interview, Mac. Well, it seems that you have more pressing issues and we don't want to keep you. <laughs> it's unfortunate that Christina Davis was beaten, but let's be honest. Her father is a known gangster, okay? Could have been anyone. We never wanted Kiefer to date that girl. He's been accepted to Harvard, and we'll be moving on with his life. Yeah, good for him. My son had nothing to do with this attack, okay? And we're not going to allow you to tie him to Christina Davis or her unfortunate family. I hope that's clear. Honey? Yes. Unbelievable. Let it go, Lucky. It's not worth it. All right, we'll have the DNA results back soon and the hard evidence as to who put Christina in the hospital. Right. You know what, Al? I need to run to GH really quick, and I'll be back soon, right? I will be taking over several rooms in the East Wing. I need them prepared immediately. And you must do something with those dreadful Gone with the Wind curtains in the master suite. But most important, Alfred, now, the nursery for the new baby has to be adjacent to my rooms. Uh, has Master Nicholas been in front of her plans? Oh, he'll learn of it soon enough. Now, Nicholas will be needing my assistance, as I have a strong suspicion that the new baby is a Cassidine. You can wait in here. It shouldn't take too long. All right. Thanks, Epiphany. Mm -hmm. Do you know if Lucky's coming? Yeah, I spoke with him about it, but... But he's not going to make it. Are those the test results for Elizabeth's paternity? Yes, I just got them. Okay, thanks. I'll take them. They're waiting for me in the conference room. Thank you. perfectly healthy and the uh, paternity results are conclusive. Nicholas is the father. <laughs> 